Okay, Kyle, what day is it? Today is a very special day. Guys, today marks eight months since the day that Sydney Blair Rose Shook said I do to me. Yep, it has been eight months, which is honestly crazy. Um, it feels like it was just yesterday. Yes. But we're in tri school for Kyle's training week, and so I tagged along, and tonight we are going on a date to celebrate eight months. So come with us. Place to eat. I've never been here. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. That many Alright, Kyle, what did you get? I got the Raging Cajun. Raging Cajun with some fries, yes, and I got just the classic grilled cheese. Hey, can't beat tradition. That's right. So on every month of archery, Kyle gives me flowers and this one we're out of town. So he picked me a flower at Railroad Park. He is so sweet. Okay, so it is 9.47 on a Saturday morning. Somehow I completely slept through Kyle leaving to go get the groceries. I don't even know how, but we have a couple of things we wanna get done today. Um, we've kind of been like in and out of the house a lot. And so we're really excited to just like finally be here um, for a good stretch and be able to get some things done. So he's gone to get the groceries, I'm getting up and I'm gonna get off with my day. Okay, so truly whenever I do any sort of housework, I feel the need to have some kind of music going. So, what should I listen to? I think I'm gonna listen to Taylor Swift. You truly can't go wrong with T Swizzle. Smells good. Thanks. Okay, so I want to show you guys what we got from the grocery store. So, of course, we got to have our orange juice. Love some orange juice. Uh, 40 water bottles because, you know, you just need those. Um, some bacon, eggs. We got some pepperoni for pizzas. We got asparagus because I love some asparagus. I already washed our fruit. So, we have grapes and strawberries and some bananas also more water bottles, all the cheeses, because you need cheese. Um, Kyle loves these blackberry um, flavored sparkling waters, so got some of those, got some Coke, and then we have just in here our salad mix, and cucumber, and carrots, and we have also all the chicken because we always need chicken um cauliflower pizza crust we love this pizza crust so much and some tilapia that we're making right now Today was a good, productive day. Got a lot of stuff done. We did. We washed the sheets, did two loads of laundry, cleaned the house up a little bit. We, what else did we do? We went to Sid's school, got mm -hmm. her classroom a little bit more organized, went to 
Walmart and Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx as well. Yeah. So now we're back home. Finally, it is what time? About six thirty. Six thirty seven, something like that. My watch time, so I don't know. <laughs> um, and we're about to make some dinner. Yes. But it was a good productive day. It feels good to like mark some things off the list. We had a pretty long list, and so it's all dwindling down. So. Yes, definitely a good end to the day. It is. So stay tuned for dinner. Look at my yummy meal that Kyle made. Look how much spaghetti he put on my plate too. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> like that's a lot. Yeah. Thank you though. You're so welcome. You're the best. I hope you enjoy. Now we're about to watch Manifest. What's up people? What's up everybody? How are y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> how y'all doing out there? Happy Sunday to you guys. We wanted to let you guys know that we have had one amazing Sunday. Incredible. Yes. Want to know why? Because we took a nap. Yes. I love taking naps. So I don't take naps that often, and this one was much needed, and I feel like a million bucks. Yes. What did we do before good. we took that nap, Sydney? Shit. We went to church. It was good. Heard a great message. Then we ate some chicken tacos for lunch. Mm -hmm. They were yummy. Yes. With Homemade. some chips. Um, the chips were bomb, and some cheese dip. Yes. And yeah, then we took our nap. And then we had dinner with some friends yeah. and then went and hung out at their house after. And now we're home yes. at 9.36. Hey. Because we are wild. Because we are cool like that. Cool. <laughs> so cool. Okay. So we realized that we've done a couple of these videos now. We've got some popcorn to go with it. Yep. And... Because it's juicy. Yes. It's not really. No. But we realized that we didn't have a video where we really... Kind of let you guys know a little bit more about who we are. Yeah, who are these people you're watching? Yes. You need to know. Whose lives you are now invested in. Because we know you guys are invested. Yes. So, to start off, I'm Kyle. I'm Sydney. <laughs> and, and we're married. We are. And it's awesome being it's married fun. to your best friend. It's so fun. Yes. It's like a slumber party every single day. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. But anyways, so, we did this thing on Instagram. Just a little shameless plug. If you don't follow us on Instagram, I need to go literally see what our username is because I don't remember. Kyle plus Sid. So that's K-Y-L-E-P-L-U-S-S-Y-D. That is our Instagram. And I usually post like a little picture when we post a new vlog on there. And then sometimes I post a little other stuff. And so we actually did like a question box where people could ask us questions because we were going to put that in the vlog. So yes. that's why we're here. So, question number one, if you could change one thing about one another, what would it be? That's a good one. It is. It's a good one to start. So, one thing that I would change about Sid, if you guys have not picked up on it so far from our videos yet, uh, but one thing that you will get to see about Sid over time is that... Sid is an absolutely incredible, amazing person, absolutely incredible, amazing wife. And she's given me the the eye roll and the stare. And this is why this is this is the one thing that I would change about Sid is that she does not give herself nearly enough credit for how amazing that she is, for how faithful to the Lord that she is. And so sweet, Kyle. <laughs> that's what I would change about Sid. Well, mine is actually kind of similar for Kyle. Mine was going to be that I feel like Kyle is too hard on himself. So we're all sinners. We all make mistakes. And not that you should just like make mistakes and be like, oh, well, I'm just a sinner. Like, that's just what we do. And like not feel any sort of remorse for it. But I think Kyle is a little too hard on himself. And so I just wish that he saw himself the way that I do. And so that would be something that I would change. Would be that like he just doesn't get as upset at himself whenever he does make a mistake. Aren't we sweet towards each other? So cute. <laughs> okay. Ooh, biggest pet peeve about each other. All right. What's your biggest pet peeve about me, Kyle? Yeah. Now we're getting into into the real this stuff. Is, this is where the popcorn comes in. Yes. Um. So Sid's a chill person. She's a cool wife. But uh, there are two things that uh, I would wish that she enjoyed a little more. Ooh! The Walking Dead. Ew. See? 
and a little bit more college football. Mm. She she enjoys it, right? She enjoys it, but I go for the social aspect. So if you ever see me at you know a college game, you know when football season comes up, I'm just there to like hang out and chat with my friends, not like watch. So so if we can get her up to like the but at least I'm there. That's true. That's cool. Yes. What um, about you, Sid? Biggest pet peeve. Probably, so, I would say that I'm a pretty clean person. Like, I like things to, like, be in its place and be in order. And she likes for the house to look like it's not lived in. I do, I do. And, which I, I've gotten better about <laughs> since we've been here because we've been moving. So, things aren't always in order and that's okay. But, and I don't know that I would call it a pet peeve. But it's, <laughs> it's okay. Just say it. Kyle Truth just doesn't comes care out. about things being in order. <laughs> He's gotten better, a lot better, I think, because we share this space. But if you go to his car, you will see past Kyle, like before mar B M before marriage, BM. <laughs> Kyle, and you'll see that he doesn't really care about things being in order. So it's not a pet peeve. But it is in a sense because I'm just very particular about it's how a I like things. And and she's right. The the car, a little a little messy. Just I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. And yeah. I mean, it's a very lived in car. <laughs> but he has My a car house, looks lived in. So your car shouldn't look like you live in your car because you live in your house. You know. But my car is cozy. It would be cozier if it was cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's skip around. Who said I love you first? Three, two, one. This guy. Yes. Let me tell you guys about it, okay? So, we were little wee seniors in college. Yeah, we were like this tall. We were like two feet tall. <laughs> and we were at my apartment. I vividly remember it. It was in April. I used to know the date. 17th, I think. Maybe the 7th. Yeah, I think it was there, the 7th. Yeah, there was, was a 7 in there. Yeah. I think it was the 7th. It was a Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And we were watching some show. I can't remember. And he, like, looks at me. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Like, because the way he looked, he looked like he had, like, seen a ghost or, like, he was about to throw <laughs> up. And I was like, what is wrong? I was about to throw up because I had just seen a ghost. <laughs> Whatever. And then he told me. And then I cried. Mm -hmm. And I guess I said I love you too. You did. Yeah. Yeah. But that was. She wasn't time. like it, it. wasn't like I said I love you, and she goes okay. Yeah. Like she she said it too, so we were good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we worked out. You know, I think we're good. Just in case. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was a cute moment. Mm -hmm. We had been dating for like two months. Yeah. By that point, but mm -hmm. we had talked for a long time before then, so it was very special and it sweet. Was. Okay. Um, how did y'all know each other was the one? So it was a very natural kind of progression of things. Mm -hmm. uh, like Sid said, we had only dated about two months or so before we broke the "I love you" barrier. Because um, you guys like that's that's like a barrier. That's that's a mm -hmm. milestone in a in a relationship. But very quickly, we both kind of felt we were on the same page the entire time. But we both really felt a deeper connection to each other from the get-go. Mm -hmm. One thing that I appreciated about the way that you and I both kind of approached the relationship was we really weren't, neither one of us were interested in dating just to date. Mm -hmm. And not to say that we weren't opposed to taking it slow or anything like that, but we both ultimately had marriage on our minds mm -hmm. to where if it didn't work out, you know, it didn't work out and that's okay, but we weren't looking for just a casual kind of deal. And so going in with that mindset really helped set the tone for the rest of our relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really think in that span of, of two months from when we first started dating to even breaking that I love you barrier, just the way that we interacted, the way that the Lord moved in our lives to, to orchestrate the whole the whole scenario, our whole relationship, I think made it really evident to both of us that this was something for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
I agree. <laughs> um, so for me, I would say, I think like in past relationships or crushes or whatever, um, I think it was always very evident to me all along that like those weren't the one because I guess my mom always laughed at me whenever me and Kyle really started liking each other because she's like, wow, you've liked this one for a long time. <laughs> um, yes. Because I would just kind of lose interest quick. And I think that's just because I knew deep down that it wasn't right. Um, but I think what helped me really know that Kyle was the one was just really the way that he treated me was always how I desired to be treated. Um, and then just like little things about Kyle are just really sweet and really special like for me I'm such a words person like I love that's my love language is words of affirmation and Kyle just so happens to have an English <laughs> degree and speaks beautifully every time he talks and so when he says things to me they just fill that love tank up so much and so just like the way that Kyle and I interact is just so evident that the Lord's hand is all over it and for those of you that know our story and just kind of like how all of that came about, it's just really, really cool and really evident that the Lord wanted us to be together. Um, and I would love to tell that story on here someday, yeah. um, just how all of that worked out. Mm -hmm. But I think things have just always been really different with Kyle. And um, we talk a lot about how like it feels almost like things were fast with us, but it wasn't like forced. Mm -hmm. Like it just naturally kept progressing. Like we both before said that you know before we ever got engaged we would want to date that person for two years well we weren't even dating not a full year not a full year 11 months yeah we were dating we got engaged like the day before our 11 month 11 month anniversary or whatever you want to call yeah. it um which is crazy because that was not like what we thought would happen and it's not that we rushed it it's just that's just how that was just the lord's plan and it was a very natural next step. Yeah, and we talk about how like we've only been together for two years now and we've already almost been married for a year. And yeah. so it's just crazy how like you can have a timeline in your head and then God has a completely different plan. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I've just never doubted that Kyle was the one. I think even from the moment that we were first starting to like form a friendship, I just knew something was different. And like the way that I talk about Kyle or talked about Kyle, my mom and dad both were like, okay, this is something different. And so I think even to like having our family and friends support mm -hmm. was a huge encouragement of knowing like, okay, like we're in the will of God because yes. everyone that knows us and loves us and cares about like our well being is fully behind this. Mm -hmm. So it was very evident to me with dating Sid and being with Sid was there was not a single, and there still has not been a single moment in our relationship where I've ever I had ever doubted whether or not we would make it. Mm -hmm. And then here we are in marriage. And I do think that part of that is because the Lord sets up previous relationships, you know, previous dating relationships, so that we can learn mm -hmm. a little bit more what it's like to be in a relationship. For sure. Good stuff. Yes. Okay, and then we'll do one more. So, favorite thing about each other? Sid has an incredible servant's heart. She is sold out and dedicated to the Lord and always working to and living her life to make sure that he is at the forefront, that he is the focus of her life, is an incredible blessing to me and to our relationship that cannot be overstated. So cute. <laughs> so sweet. Um, so my favorite thing about Kyle, and I say this all the time, is Kyle does not mean a stranger. So <laughs> <laughs> I tend to be a lot more reserved and introverted. And I think I can love people well when I feel comfortable to love them well because I feel comfortable enough around that person. But Kyle, like, it doesn't matter if he just met you. He will give you the shirt off of his back. He will do absolutely anything for you. He is constantly just, like, saying hey to people, waving. And I'm like, why did you wave to that person? We don't know them. But, like, he's just so kind. And I think anyone that knows him knows that, like, he's just a genuinely kind person. And truly, like, I tell my mom this because my parents absolutely adore Kyle. And I tell them, they're like, they're just always saying how nice and, like, polite and just respectful he is. And I'm like, truly the same Kyle that you 
you guys see like in public is the same Kyle that I have at home. <laughs> and I think that's what I love about him is that like he's just the same no matter who's around. He's not gonna put on some little fake show for anyone. Like he is just truly who the Lord's called him to be. And like I see a whole lot of Jesus. Like I see characteristics of the Lord in him and the way that he loves people. And that's really cool to me and really encouraging. So that would be my favorite thing. But we just wanted to do a couple questions yeah. for you guys. Hopefully you kind of know us a little bit better now. Um, and we'll probably do more of these soon because we want you guys to know us. But we really want to yeah. know more this about you fun. guys. Absolutely. Fun. So maybe we'll do this again later. But for now, we're going to hop off, eat this popcorn, and watch some TV before we go to bed. Yes. So, I'll hope take you it guys easy. enjoyed. Bye. Bye.